Angela Vernon had been in recovery at the Carl Schuchner Memorial Hospital going into the weekend. And according to family members, she was in good spirits, even singing for her doctors. That makes it even more difficult to decipher what caused her to suddenly die, according to her sister, Sandra Brown. She was off the machine, she was talking, fully oriented, you know, everything. You know, she was even talking about, you know, we're telling her that we, about the blood drive, and we didn't realize how much love and support that she had throughout the, you know, the Belize community and everybody from even the small villages and stuff were calling in to donate, and she was happy and she was, you know, pleased with that. And uh, she even sang for the doctors, you know, she was doing pretty good. Even the morning when she coded, you know, she was doing very good, you know. So we're surprised that, you know, when they called us to come in that, you know, she didn't make it, you know, it was a great surprise to us, you know. Even though she had a lot, you know, you know uh, against her, but we had uh, reason to believe that she, it was continued progress, you know, to get better. Instead, she suffered a fatal cardiac arrest. But the end of her journey was preceded by many wonderful years sharing her gift for music and pride in the Belizean and especially Creole culture, epitomized in a song instantly recognizable by its opening line. You know, that's, that's her slang and her logo, you know. I want to know who say. Creole no got culture, and cause she know that, you know, they have culture and we, the Creole people, have culture, you know, a, mm -hmm. a way of life, of food, or music, the way how we talk, the way how we do all different sort of thing, you know, Belize is a country full of culture and she represented the Creole culture. It is something she shared with her adult sons and daughters, the former of whom are all musicians, and back Leela in international and national concerts. Longtime friend and planned biographer Myrna Manzanares, with whom she served on the National Creole Council, recalled the best of Leela in speaking with News 5 while she was in hospital. Uh, she is my friend. When time she does come to Belize, where do you think she go? <laughs> the me stay. And I like that. And when I go to PG, that I will go, we laugh and we talk and we look at cultural and traditional thing. Lida has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of culture. And so I'm hoping that, well, I have some things and we had done to the National Institute of um, Culture and History, ISCR. We had gone down there and we had interviewed her and we have her on tape. And those are some of the material that I'm using in my biography, but there's so much more that we need to get and I am concerned and I hope that we get it. Of course, that's not meant to be. But death hardly tarnishes Leela's legacy. In fact, it burnishes it. Fellow Punta Gordon Will Mejia, in a video message, recalled another great accomplishment of hers, the singing of the national anthem in Creole. <laughs> One of the things that she really wanted to accomplish before she passed away was the singing of the national anthem and getting it recorded in Creole, which was something that she basically achieved right here in Punta Gorda town, um, to have the national anthem sung in Creole. Um, so I just want to say that you know she has contributed a lot. I thank her and her family for all they've done um, for Belize on a whole, and especially for the people of Toledo. And her family, as Lida herself would prefer, want that whenever the funeral takes place that it not be in mourning but in celebration we want a celebration of her life and her legacy basically it's what she wants a celebration she always say i don't care what you're doing but as long as you celebrate and believe celebrate you know and uh, celebrate our culture and everything and the music that's what she wants so we want it to be a celebration of her life Hola. Iran Humes reporting for News Web.